Hi butterflies, I'm back today with another video and before I start this video, here's this disclaimer. If you are sick, either physically or mentally, please go see a proper medical physician. I am just offering tips and tricks that helped me. I am not a medical profession in any way. So please seek proper medical care. With that, let's get on with today's video. Today's video comes from my recent blog post, a follower asked, and his question is, Amanda, can you please do a video on how to manage nystagmus when you're sick? Sure, I can offer some tips. For those of you who don't know, nystagmus is an eye condition which I have, and it's where your eyes move constant. And usually, when you're sick, tired, or stressed out, the nystagmus, the eye movements, get a lot worse. So here are five tips that helped me when I'm sick. Number one, admit that you're sick and stay home. When I was a teenager, I did not follow this rule at all. I used to go to school when I was sick, not feeling well, and that did not help my body, that did not help the community bad idea. I remember one time I was really sick with like a cold thingy and <laughs> I went and I took a math test because I had a math test that day and it said on the syllabus if you miss math class on a test day your test when you do makeups will be a lot harder than the original test. I didn't want that. I sucked at math so I went in and I did my test and then I went and I checked myself out. Well, I didn't check myself out, but I went to the office and told them, call my grandpa, I'm sick. And I remember I'm just like sitting by the office waiting to be checked out. And my teacher comes up, one of my teachers, and she was like, Amanda, what's wrong? I'm like, I'm sick, I'm going home. And she goes, oh gosh. She goes, why did you come to school if you're this sick? Cause I could, they could visually tell I was sick, believe me. And I'm like, I was worried about my grades. So I came in and took my test. Don't do that. If you're truly sick, stay home. Your brain and your school community will thank you. Tip number two, drink plenty of fluids. Stay hydrated. As a kid, I had a weak immune system. I got sore throats. I was sick a lot. Sprite and chicken broth were my best friends. So please guys, drink up. Tip number three, Get some sleep. Sleep is important no matter if you're healthy or sick, but especially when you're sick, especially when you have nystagmus. For me, personally, I find that if I sleep more when I'm sick, I'm rested, my eyes don't hurt as bad, naps, sleep are your best friend. Tip number four, go to the doctor when needed. If I had gone to the doctor, when I started having stomach pain and hurting a lot because I had a kidney infection when I was 17 that ended up in the ER. If I had gone previously to my doctor and said, my back hurts, my stomach hurts, it's not going away. Maybe I wouldn't have had to go to the ER and got a bunch of fluids to help my heart rate and my blood pressure go down. So yeah, go to the doctor when you need to. Don't put it off. I learned my lesson. Don't put it off. And tip number M. Tip number five. Don't let stress ruin your immune system and make you weak. I did this. After I returned home from my kidney infection, after being out for three days in high school, I found out I only had three days to make up seven classes worth of work. Uh, I did it, but I probably rushed through my work. Not a good idea. I felt more tired than energized. Yeah, don't have a relapse. Talk to your boss or teacher or somebody who's in charge of you. Tell them the situation. Ask for grace. Try to pace yourself. 
Don't make yourself worse. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you learned something today. And butterflies, if you like this video, please be sure to comment, share, like, subscribe. In fact, tell me a tip that uh, you guys find helpful when you're sick. Tell me that in the comments below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon, click all so you don't miss another video. And butterflies, remember to stay positive and fly high. See you next time. Bye.